So the U.S. Embassy released a security alert on July 26, uh, advising U.S. citizens, which was yesterday, as you all know, to limit unnecessary movements and avoid the affected area until further notice as the situation develops. We continue to monitor the situation and will continue to provide information to U.S. citizens in the region through the travel advisories, alerts, and travel.state.gov. We uh, strongly encourage U.S. citizens uh, in Niger to enroll in, in the smart travel enrollment program at, at step.state.gov to receive important emergency information and, and be careful. Uh, be careful uh, about where they are and what they're doing. Uh, we will certainly determ determine on what is needed uh, as we get further uh, information. To your, to your question about um, Russia, Putin, I know there's been question about Wagner Group as well. Until now, we have not seen incre incredible indications of Russian or Wagner um, uh, involvement, uh, but to the U.S. citizens who are um, who are in the country, we again continue to tell them to, to be mindful, to be careful, and as I just stated, we did put out an alert yesterday. We understand what happened earlier today. Uh, the Nigerian foreign minister uh, stated that he was the interim head of government. The president, Bazoum, was uh, still the legitimate president and that negotiations were still ongoing. And so that's important to note. The situation remains fluid. It is too soon to characterize the nature of ongoing developments. We are monitoring the situation closely and are in communication with the U.S. U.S. Embassy uh, there. We strongly support the democratically elected president and we condemn in the strongest terms any effort to seize power by force and disrupt the constitutional order. We call for the immediate release of, of, of the president and respect for the rule of law and public safety.